with the kitchen as good as finished, a lot of people asked us in the comments, what's next at the Chateau? Whilst I intend spending a good part of the winter in finding, buying and probably restoring a sailboat, Anna doesn't know about that yet, there are also some less important and less urgent problems and projects at the Chateau to tackle. Today we're going to make a tour and I'm going to show you our plans for this winter. The major project, however, for the next month is 200 meters away from the Chateau. These two buildings are obviously in a bad shape and the only way to save them is to turn them into businesses so we can rent them out as holiday lets and hopefully in 10 to 15 years they pay back the mortgage that we have to take out in order to save them in the first place. That's the idea. Projects like this take a long time. You need to find the perfect way to turn them into holiday lets with the architect. You need to get planning. And once you have this, you can go to the builders and they give you a quote. And with a quote and the planning and a business plan, you go to the bank. And then the bank comes and says, Philip, great project, we love it, here's the money. And here's another 50, no, 200,000 for your boat because we love that idea as well. However, today we have beautiful news. This means that we got planning. The local town hall, the mayor, together with the Heritage Society, because we're next to a listed building, so they have to sign off every plan, every idea we have. But they like what we do. They want us to transform them into a holiday let. And that's why we put this sign here. And this sign shows to everybody what we're going to do. They can go to the town hall, see what we're doing. And if somebody doesn't like it, you can you know, complain. But that's not going to happen, because everybody knows that you don't mess with an Italian with connections to the Mafia. We don't have planning for this building yet, but because it's pretty much the same project as this one, I'm quite confident that we will get it soon. The first thing we have to do is to bring in water and to evacuate the wastewater. Both will go towards the Chateau, but that's the only place where these services are available. And then creating a road and access for these two buildings separate from, from the Chateau's access. And then, because the bank will be extremely generous, here we will build a swimming pool. And another very urgent thing is planting. I don't want to make the mistake I did with the Chateau. We started planting too late. Well, we had so many other things to do, but I want to be in time. I want to be things established when these buildings are finished, as established as possible. And I also need a watering system more efficient, so I don't need to spend hours with a hose pipe watering the plants, so some underground pipes, underground watering. I hear you asking, when will the work begin? When will we see the pictures of florists and diggers coming in? Hopefully beginning of next year. And if you would like to see how these buildings look from inside, we did some vlogs a couple of months ago. I'm going to link them down in the description. It's obvious that money is the biggest issue when it comes to projects like this. And it doesn't help that inflation rate in France, for instance, was over 6% in July. This makes borrowing money more expensive, but it also means that there's almost nowhere left to keep the money you already have safe. The stock market just had its worst start in 50 years. Luckily, this doesn't affect me personally, as the only stock I own is chicken and beef, and they come in little cubes and are safely stored in my larder. However, as a ridiculously well-paid influencer, I'm happy to be in touch with Masterworks, where you can buy shares of paintings by legends like Picasso or Banksy, and who also happen to be this week's ad. The last time inflation was this high, the contemporary art they offer increased in value more than gold, real estate, or the S&P 500. When it comes to picking paintings, Masterworks knows what they're doing. To date, Masterworks has sold five paintings with an average net return of 26.8% to investors. That's through COVID, a bear market and raging inflation. Contemporary art is not only a tool against inflation, it can potentially grow your money as well. That's exactly why I invested three months ago some spare money in this Rothko painting, featuring one of the most beautiful colors there is. Now I'm looking forward to see if it performs as well as the other paintings Masterworks have auctioned off so far, because it would mean that I made some money instead of losing it to inflation. Demand for Masterworks is so high that they have a wait list, but you can tell them I sent you to skip it by simply clicking the link in the description. We haven't been here for a while. No, try to avoid going in here when we can. But yeah, we're gonna have to tackle it, so should we go and have a look? Yes, let's go. 
Even this door doesn't shut properly, but behind here is two rooms of doom. Do you want to go and see? Well, we have to see because that's what we're talking about this week. Yeah, but I really hate going in here. I'm so embarrassed to show anybody. Go, 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 go. Let's see. Oh, we really have to do this, Philip. Yes, people should see the reality of our life, our, our chateau. So not the Instagram version. No. This, this is, is the reality. This is the reality. Let's go. For the last three years, this room has become, as you can see, the dumping ground. Um, and to be honest, after six months of renovating the kitchen, the last thing I want to do is start a new DIY project. But that's the plan, isn't it? That is the plan. Eventually, it's going to become a guest room. But before that, it's going to become my temporary workshop. So I'm really excited about that, to actually have a space to create and work again. How do you feel after six months of renovating the kitchen? Do you have the energy to do this now? Not really, <laughs> but we have to find it. And I think once we get going and we start to see it transform, actually, I think clearing this space out will be kind of cathartic. I think it will be sort of purifying and hopefully give us energy again. There's some treasure here though. A lot of things I like, just we didn't have space for it. Yeah. B day. Important B day. Essential for a workshop. Yeah. Sink, yeah, doesn't work because it's not connected to anything anymore. So this this goes here. There's a hidden door which will be unhidden soon because behind this room is the future bathroom when this becomes a guest room. And that's it. And I think maybe Benoit is going to do a little bit of paneling and maybe some cornicing, a little bit of painting, electrics. All right, so maybe by October I can be in here. Yeah. Okay, that's the that's deal. Is that the first thing we do? I think so, yeah. Because it's the most urgent. Yeah. And if this is your important project, I have an idea for my important project. Okay. We can talk about it later. I think I have a feeling I know what you want to say. And it might involve something beginning with a B. B? Nice letter, B. Like Brigitte Bardot. Brigitte Bardot. I feel like you have a B. I have a B. A B tattoo. A tattoo. For Barbara. It's not... Or for boat. It's for boat. It says boats. It was my early desire when I was 14 to have a boat and then I did this. You tattooed yourself when you were 14? Yes. I thought it was 16. I was 16, I was 16. That's a bit young to start tattooing yourself. That was in your punk days, wasn't it, Philip? No, no, it's impossible. At 16 I was already conservative, so it must have been when I was 14. In the 80s? Yes. 80s, you said? No, 90s. You were born in 76. Yeah, plus 14 is 1990. It's ridiculous. <laughs> and now I'm going to show you a room that most people know, but the bad news is it hasn't improved since last time we've been here. There's no way to improve this unless we find another room to store all my tools. What are we dealing with here, Philip? With a moderate mess, but also with a dilemma. Mm -hmm. And the dilemma is we need all these tools to renovate these rooms. But where do we put them when we renovate these rooms? There's no other spare room where I can put this. Now we could put it in the attic, but imagine each time you need something running up the stairs in the attic and then coming down. How do people renovate their last room? That's a good question. There Maybe people be. can let us know in comments. And here, this is going to become another guest room. Mm -hmm. Again, a little bit of painting and that's it. Most importantly, Anna, this is going to be the deep burgundy room. The color that I found here underneath the wallpaper a long time ago. I spoke about it in a vlog and literally everybody agreed with me that this room should become the burgundy room. I'm not sure that's true. Maybe we do a poll. Mm -hmm. So guys, if you see this, there will be a poll on YouTube. Should this be burgundy or another color? And we're waiting for you to decide and whatever you decide, we do it, especially if you decide burgundy. I have an idea. Mm -hmm. Each of us gets one room and we don't interfere with the other and we make a competition. You do whatever we want in your room yeah. and I do whatever I want here. Are you going to paint it? I, yes, I can paint it. I, I do whatever I want. All, right. All the furniture, everything. And you do the other room. And at the end we see who's the real interior designer boss. Mm -hmm. Deal? No, no deal. <laughs> Please follow me into the luxury bathroom. Yeah. Imagine, just use your imagination. Imagine this. Toilet over here, next to the window. Sink just here. 
wash your hands, nice view out onto the coach house. Have your door through into your bedroom and this will be blocked off and here we'll have a beautiful shower and I've got an idea for something a little crazy in the shower. What? Well, after doing the tiles for the kitchen, I'm just trying to find an excuse to go back and do some more pottery and ceramics because I really love it. So I had the idea to create a mural on tiles in the shower. So you have an affair with the tile maker? No, but I really love going to the atelier and sitting there and painting and I think it could look amazing. What do you think? I think you have an affair with the tile maker. I mean, it's going to take a little bit of time. Maybe it will take a week or something, but I think it will be worth it. It will be... Good. Yeah? Let's so just... it doesn't seem so daunting when you look at what's to do in here, really. No. I mean, after what we've dealt with here, this, this is fine. You know what's funny? What? As much as I'm exhausted and tired from renovating, when I see this, I want to start working on it. I want to open this door, I want to get rid of all the rubbish here. Yeah. And install the showers. How crazy is that? That's pretty crazy. So I think these are the next two rooms you're going to see us working on. This room is definitely on our to-do list. Whether we can do it this winter, I'm not sure, but I would love to get this done. And I can't wait to sort of reinstate it as a dining room. One of the features that we love in this room is this beautiful 19th century mural that we uncovered when we removed some of the old wallpaper. The only thing is, I obviously used this lovely dark green color as an inspiration for our green guest room. And I think that maybe even I can agree, if we went for this green, it will feel like too much green in the chateau. I just don't imagine this becoming a really dark room. If we choose another color, at least we need to do it in a way that somebody else who can come can get this back if he wants. On one hand, we want to preserve what is here and restore it, but it also wants to feel like, you know, it, in keeping to our style and taste and, yeah, and work with the other rooms. And for the first time, you would like another color? Perhaps, I'm not sure. What I'm color? undecided. What color? Maybe orange? <laughs> Joking. Oh, I was happy. You just made me happy. And one of my favorite features here is this chimney here. With this beautiful mirror that luckily was left here by the previous owners. And down here we have a 18th century, we believe it's 18th century chimney plate, a chinoiserie style chimney plate, animal motifs and flowers, and this Chinese guy. And that's a typical thing that we would find in a 18th century room. And that could be the starting point maybe of some decoration ideas for this room. Should we have a chinoiserie room? Or is it a bit too much? Maybe a bit too much for my taste. Anyway, we can't do this room now because it's too close to where our guests are. And that would make definitely too much noise. So this is probably something that we start after November. But I do wonder what color this room will have. I really wonder. If you enjoyed this episode, don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button. For exclusive videos and behind the scenes updates, have a look at our Patreon page. Thank you so much for watching.